Japan confirms full meltdown at all three reactors, June the 6th, 2011, folks. But then they keep denying it ever since. 7.6 trillion Beckles Neptunium, 120 billion, pff, who cares, Beckles of plutonium, right? What about the uranium, 234, 235? What about all that cesium in this model? What about in that first 100 hours? What about, what about all that stuff? Of course, wherever the cesium, there's 30 times more strontium. The IAEA informed in March that number one reactor core started melting about 50 minutes after the cooling stopped. And you can see the detonation of unit one. Impossible that the bulk of the melted fuel is still in unit one's containment. The charred vessel could indicate explosive events inside. So this is unit one you're seeing over here. And it's missing its top. February 26, proof that the fuel fragments were sneezed out of Unit 1 Fukushima reactor. There was a lot of damage out front of this place, remember? When you look at that whole site, it's a lot of carnage going on there. There was 25 sievers per hour at Unit number 1. That's number 1 in the bottom of the screen here. Prime Minister ordered halt to cooling after he was voiced seawater could cause a chain reaction. But actually, it was about releasing all these buckyballs, urethal, peroxide, sulfur, buckyballs that will ingest the hot particles inside of it. That's what he was worried about. Japan's leader on 311, most don't know, but reactor 1 melted down in 5 hours. That's reactor 1 you're seeing right here. And they say we almost lost a third of the nation. And a video, believed to show parts of the internal structure in Fukushima and number one containment vessel scattered about. Three inch thick lead plates had disappeared. You can see this big hole. See that big hole in the side of number one? And so what they done was they put a sarcophagus around it. You can see how they lift up these big panels and they just drop it and they hook in, right? So they're doing this all with cameras and everything and they drop it and it slides right in. There's nobody up there with cutting torches. There's nobody up there with equipment, scaffolding, or anything else. Up to a million sievers. This is number one. They're hiding away. Thank, thank goodness they're trying to get some kind of sarcophagus on it in order, but they still have to release it into the environment, so nothing changes. You just can't see it. But a million sievers of, well, 500 sievers, you're not walking out of the plant. Uh, 250 sievers, you're going to die within a week or two. A million sievers. You don't get the right home. U.S. media only reported about the melt-through at this reactor right here, number one, not number two and number three. That's a detonation you're looking at to the right of unit one. PBS, 30 times more strontium-90 than cesium at Fukushima, and strontium is much more dangerous. This is a problem. Researchers far as from the plant were surprised by how much continuing radioactivity they found. 30 times more strontium-90 than cesium at Fukushima, and the strontium is much more dangerous. So whenever you hear the word cesium, multiply it by 30 for strontium-90. Uh, researchers far from the plant were surprised by how much radioactivity they found. Well, you can see from the explosion over here that it would that was a huge explosion, folks. A hundred million becquels per cubic centimeter of radioactivity estimated at the number one power plant. That's the number one here. A hundred million becquels per cubic centimeter per centimeter. This is a frightening, unimaginable frightening amount, okay? Explosion may have occurred inside the vessels of Fukushima Unit 1 that can generate missiles that endanger the containment's integrity. That's number one you're seeing to the right of the screen at the top. Of course, it had a million sievers per hour outside. Unimaginable, number one. 220 million becquels a liter of cesium in number two. That's number two right there. 220 million becquels a liter. Woo, that would knock you unconscious and melt your organs. Congressman releases redacted documents to say part of Unit 2 core got so hot it may be outside of the reactor pressure vessel. And spent fuel pools in number one right here. Number two, right here, and number three, right at the bottom here. Let's bring that up for you. You can see how much carnage went into that place there. Clearly have significant spent fuel damage. Okay, we'll take your word on that one, buddy.
broken pieces of nuclear fuel rods found outside the reactor number two, says the nuclear executive, and they were covered up by the bulldozers. Well, that's number two there. Number two looks like it stayed intact, but it's got massive damage on the inside. It had a detonation, okay? Experts assuming reactor two had cracked the containment vessel that allowed releases directly from the melted nuclear core. So even though this is number two you're looking at, and it looks like it's in reasonable shape, it detonated, and so it's destroyed on the inside. It's got millions of sievers right alongside of it. At um, that fella right there, at the top of your screen. And so number two is off limits too. Remember that. Even though it looks like it's okay, you can see the experts are assuming on July the 24th, 2012, uh, for sure that it had left its core. We'll cover that a little bit later. Highest ever radiation levels detected outside the reactor buildings at Fukushima. People who were exposed to it would die in 20 minutes. They were talking about number one, but also number two reactor. And that's number two you're looking at during the picture to the right hand side. Rapid meltdown happened at reactor two and three. Number three you see they're indicated by the black smoke at number three and you can see how much carnage is there in that. Obviously it's it's not heavily damaged, it's missing. This was a ten story building. Over half the fuel has melted out of reactor number two and three, says Tep assumed worst scenario. I think that's a safe bet when you're looking at that picture, isn't it? I mean, that's number two alongside of it, and that's number three right there, and that's number four you see over there in the corner. That don't look like it's in very good shape before they stripped it down with the heavy equipment, or robotic equipment, to get at the rods. But look at this one, number three. I mean, that's carnage. The smoke, it's black murmured the Prime Minister Can after reactor number three went missing, I should say, instead of exploded. I don't think um, exploded really gives it the credibility it deserves. This is 100% carnage, what you're looking at during number three, folks. AP journalists felt the massive explosion at number three nuclear power plant from 25 miles away. So you can imagine because it had fuel pools above it and they're missing they're spread all over that site and then he sank down in that topsoil because he generates so much heat military unit that was helping there was severely contaminated when number three detonated once again you can see that's an amazing detonation okay uh, they were too radioactive to stand close to each other that's amazing so they were putting out radiation they were that contaminated. Man, poor buggers. Lindsey Graham loves the MOX fuel. He was trying to get it at Savannah Riverside. Apparently they just put it on hold. Magazine, curium and plutonium outside of Fukushima plant indicated nuclear explosion at reactor number three, curium. Remember, um, Dr. Raymond Gilmetti was using curium isotopes in the Beagles in the experiments. They all got cancer. You can see, number three, broken spent nuclear fuel rods may have been scattered. May have? Hmm. That's an interesting statement, but they're not there, so they've got to be somewhere else. Explosion at Fukushima Unit 3 drove the nuclear fuel out of the storage pool and scattered up to two miles away. Nuclear explosion at Fukushima Number 3 had black smoke and a mushroom cloud, and a hydrogen explosion does not produce such a black smoke. December 14, 2011. Plutonium uranium number three had all been blown out. This was no ordinary explosion. The government is concealing the truth. I think it's a safe bet when you see the detonation that it blew it everywhere. I mean, it got popped. You can see the flash. And that is unit three you're looking at, the modeling of what happened at unit three from the pictures they had. And that was the detonation at unit three that this is a nuclear detonation is what they're showing here basically. Mushroom plume, fast plume, ground plume, and then they're calculated the speeds. So they backed it up with a lot of evidence. It was a nuclear explosion at Fukushima Unit 3. Plutonium scattered after the blast. ABC, there's willful denial and lying going on here. Just like we've seen at KRQE News Channel 13 about New Mexico where they just got up and lied. But once again, that's Unit 3 you're looking at. Let me zoom back for you. And you can see the carnage. 
It's absolutely melted. Let's look at it. Look at this. My goodness. Reactor 3 exploded a second time 24 hours later. The wind and the rain brought the high levels of radiation over Tokyo. And two explosions may have occurred early on at reactor number 3, very similar to Chernobyl. Likely several hundred pounds of plutonium ejected. I would say it's all ejected, or melted, and melting, and in a chain reaction. Horrific. You gotta admit that that don't look very good. I don't see no pulls. Hello, where's the pulls? But you can see carnage is complete, right? That's complete carnage. 100% release at Unit 4 spent fuel pull assumed in the NRC analyst. 50% at Unit number 3. I think they got that one backwards, did they? Because that's Unit 4 there. That was the detonation. That's Unit 3. So what looks worse to you? That one there, or this one here. That one's, see, everything is missing, so I'm going to go with the first one, and that you're looking at is Unit 4. And that was one of the cranes they use for lifting stuff out of the pool, so you have to assume the pool is below that somewhere, but that's another part of the video we'll get to later. Did Fukushima Diachi's Unit number 4 catch on fire today? Well, that's Unit 4 you're looking at. And yeah, it could have had a fire, or had enough destruction, could have done a whole lot of things. This is what they showed us up on RT and claimed it was the interior of that. I don't know how they got from there to here with millions of sievers in your neighborhood, but that's Unit 4 you're looking at. That's Unit 4. Have a good look, or have a good look at it. Let's come back to that crazy picture. And this is what all BBC, ABC, CNN, Fox News, everybody tried to sell us uh, over the last couple of months. Obviously, that building can't be inside of this building. And if you think it is, you've got issues. Trust me. There's no logical way. Look how the building is destroyed. It's snapped. Think about how big these pillars are. You won't see people in there with scaffolds and cutting, cutting torches because it's too friggin' scary. Reactor 4 had one explosion and two fires in March 2011. I say that, that pretty well. Now that's the basement of Unit 4, by the way. Allegedly. And it was 40, 50 million becquels of cesium, not mentioning uranium or plutonium down there. And the Fuk that's a picture from the Fukushima 50. You're seeing to the right from TEPCO site. I'll remember to put the link below to that so you can download 2,000 pictures from TEPCO. A lot of these pictures, that's where I got them from. These are all authentic pictures I'm showing you for what I'm talking about. Explosion heard near heavily damaged number four. Yeah, I think heavily damaged is underestimating. I can assure you there's nowhere in that building that is going to look like that at the ceilings. It's ridiculous to think you can get inside the building. So why are the media keeping that one alive, particularly three years later? Radiation steaming into the atmosphere after number four pool boiled dry in a fire, says the UK paper. Well, it doesn't look like that in there. It definitely looks like that in there. That's the official pictures. That's the official picture. Uh, and that's the official picture, and that's the official picture. So one of these pictures don't belong with the other. Can you guess which one? It's not like the rest. Let's say uh, it was that fella right there. But anyway, number four in the basement. Keep the tone down, Dana. Now this is, uh, you can see there's people up there. That's what it's supposed to be. They could have photoshopped that in there. It could be heralds. I'm not saying that's not really people. you got to realize there's rods blown all over that. So if that is real people, and you can see this guy don't even have a mask on. And so they probably photoshopped that in there. And maybe not. Maybe it's one of the Fukushima 50s. What would he be doing up there? Besides dying. Because when you get so close to these chunks, you're talking about neutrons, you're talking about x-rays, you're talking about hours to live if you're lucky. 
You're talking 40 minutes up there and your organs will melt and you will die and you will never come out of there because nobody wants to come and get you. You've got nothing to do with you, you're nuclear waste now anyway. And so I always assume that picture up there is fake to give people hope, right? The truth will give you all the hope you need. Number four, boil dry. I'll, I'll, I'll go along with that one. New York Times, flames sighted deep within Fukushima. Unit 4 was the only fire oh, deep inside of Unit 4, which is that one over here, where Buddy is told. Yeah, there were tons of fire in there. Nobody doubts that. Here's Unit 4. You can see how much carnage. Let's zip around for a second. You can see how much carnage is in here. Something else in there. That's the other part of the crane there. I'm lost. Anyway, let's go to another picture. It doesn't look like that in there. It looks like that in there. It looks like that in there. So how did they get from those to here? When we're talking about all this stuff over here, millions of sievers in the neighborhood. Iodine 131 and nuclear 4 spent fuel pull at 22,000 times above normal. Ken Buesler will tell you normal is uh, 7,000 becquels. It's not. But that's what they use for the normal background radiation, like uh, potassium would be 7,040, would be 7,000 becquels. Well, let's just say it's just 22,000 times above whatever. 20 to even just one becquel, 22,000 of them, of this stuff, not that stuff, but that stuff, where the rods are everywhere, they can't get in and clean that up. That's all neutrons and x-rays. It's so contaminated, it just... You'd have to wear a lead suit from head to toe, like a robot. You still probably wouldn't survive. We're talking about the most dangerous things on the planet that they can't find anywhere to put it. And they're claiming that they redone it all and it looks like that is ludicrous. There's no pictures of the construction, no pictures of the scaffold, no pictures, videos. Uh, and been hiring homeless to do it all. There's no construction companies in there working on it. It's utter fabrication that that picture you're looking at the right is real. Especially when you're hearing everything uh, with the Wall Street Journal last time, that last headline, let's go back one. That was the Wall Street Journal, 22,000 times above normal. You can't, like it's x-rays and neutrons from all the rods from the detonations. You can't get in and pick all of that up. You get it? Let's keep going. Number four is a time bomb, though, Dana, and we got to clean it up. So we sacrificed millions of Japanese homeless, and we clean it up, and there it is, Dana. And I don't believe you at all. You can get inside of any of these buildings. Look how pretty number three is over here. Remember pictures of number three from earlier? This is inside the fuel pool. If you break the rods, you're releasing all that noble gases. So if you're shifting this shit around, how do you get in there and work on it? You do it with a crane, but then you're talking about massive releases every time you lift something. Because the rods are releasing all these gases, these unimaginable, volatile, inconceivably dangerous isotopes into our environment. The, the, the rods are creating that are broken all over that site back here. Now, those stuff, but... The pieces of the pellets and the rods that are everywhere, they create their own isotopes. And so when they're smashed and felt 30 kilometers away, 25 kilometers away by AP reporter, you can imagine. The rods are everywhere creating their own isotopes. The whole site is hell. It's hell. And it doesn't look like that. Okay, they're trying to put a fable so you don't look at the rest of it. For the nuclear industry. Look at a pool. Look at the carnage. This is unit four. The, the destruction is something else, okay? That's something else. Like calling these destroyed is an understatement. Calling the damage is an understatement. Number four, spent fuel pool cracked from the earthquake. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty safe bet. Nobody knows what happened to number three. It was probably melting down before the tsunami got there. There was renewed concern of a chain reaction fear that the spent fuel, that's number four they're talking about over there. That's number three you see to the side. Let me move that over for you. So number three and number four. 
That was carnage, 100%, right? The walls of Unit 4 in a spent fuel pool have collapsed and there's no water in there. January 11, 2012. Contaminated water purposely being pumped into the basements of the Fukushima reactor's turbine buildings. That's the buildings down here, I think, is it? Or they're on the other side. Yeah, they're on the other side. I should have had that picture for everybody. Well, you can see the carnage of the tsunami as it came through there, right? Look at this. You got to realize that was a 50-foot wave come cruising through. Why well, it might not be 50 feet because it's just coming through. You can see that car or van down here. This is the reactor's buildings 5 and 6, just by 5 and 6 where this happened. Extremely radioactive tunnels in Fukushima must be drained. Contamination is from the melted fuel. The nuclear material is going through the gravel and into the ocean. Like, the whole site is busted off from the earthquake. It busted up Japan for like a thousand kilometers. Tunnels on our Fukushima plant are suspected to have quake damage. Of course they are. So all those rods all over the site and all that water they're spraying all over the site has filled up that... Uh, the reactor buildings, the basements, and the pump houses buildings with 15,000 tons, but that's always leaking out and there's more pouring in. It's hell on earth. The turbine buildings. One or more of the building's explosions ejected radioactive material around the site of Fukushima. And so, you know, it's complete carnage. There's nothing on the planet you could dream up that was worse than this. Cores at the three of the plant's reactors melted down, breaching their containment vessels. And TEPCO maintains fuel stopped short of breaching the containment vessels. That was March 31st, 2012. Fukushima released 100 quadrillion becquerels of cesium into the atmosphere in just one day, about equal to Chernobyl's total release. Chernobyl has 3,500 square kilometers that are still evacuated, and this released more in one day into the environment, and it went up into the jet stream and everywhere else, right? Plutonium was ejected from the fuel pools up to several miles from the reactors. So the rods are 12 feet long. There's 1,535 bundles of around 80 rods in a bundle, so that's around 122,000 uh, rods, and they were blown all over the site, the pellets, these little small uranium, plutonium. Remember, the reactors don't run on cesium, they don't run on iodine, they don't run on strontium, they run on plutonium and uranium. Okay, always remember that. Wherever there's one, there has to be the others. Uh, the cesium and the strontium is just, and the iodine are byproducts of the rods being breached. They build up in the rods, and when the rods are breached, they release massive amounts. So when you see these massive numbers, it, meant, it once again confirms the massive amount that was released. There's an enormous amount of plutonium at number four spent fuel pool in danger of catching fire. The pool is cracked and it's leaking April 13, 2011. If number four collapsed, Japan will be evacuated. Well, number three, you're looking at alongside of it, is way dangerous, way more dangerous than number four. Courage at the Fukushima 50. This is suicide amidst the workers trying to avert a catastrophe. New TEPCO report. June of 2012, Unit 4 had major impulse sound and damage to the roof on March the 14th. Fire seen hours later. New TEPCO report, Unit 4 had major impulse sound and damage to the roof on March the 14th, 2011. And fires were seen hours later, then again the next day. Gee. Probably the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the day after that, and the day after that too, by the looks of it. Right. A total amount of radioactive cesium that leaked from the containment vessels of number one, from the containment vessels of the reactors themselves, not the fuel pools, which we've just been talking about a lot, to reactor number three reached 70 million becquels an hour of just the cesium, not the plutonium, not the uranium, not all the other creatures, the thousands of other radioactive isotopes that actually come out of those places. Up 12 million becquels from December's level. On top of that, there was an enormous amount of plutonium at number two spent fuel pool in danger of catching fire. Explosion possibly due to the rods not being covered with water at unit number four. All right, I made it. 
New 311 footage shows the disaster loomed at the Fukushima reactor number 5. Meet the Fukushima 50. So this particular part, we're going to show you a lot of interior shots. And there's outside of number 5, by the way. And outside of number 6, just to get you introed. And don't forget, a friggin' tsunami came through this place and ripped all the wires and everything else, all the infrastructure to shreds. Okay? And these people are prisoners. So that's inside of Unit 5. That's the cast, the dry cast. They're full of nuclear waste. That's unimaginably. This is one of the Fukushima 50s you see there. And the number 5 cooling system stopped and the backup wasn't working. Number 1 melted 50 minutes after the cooling stopped. So nobody really knows what happened inside of this one here, number five you're looking at, but there's a lot of damage already there. There's a lot of radiation spread around there already. TEPCO is waiting for the morning to work on a broken reactor, number five cooling system, rather than to start working while it's dark. Can't really blame them. That's what I'd be doing. A major study reactor number five releases may explain why so much radioactive xenon detected. So they're implying there's a huge release here, not just uh, unit 1, 2, and 3, and 4 was in desperate trouble. Number 5 and 6 were not in cold shutdown. You can see the carnage inside of uh, number 5 here. Cooling at the spent fuel pool number 5 stopped until the cables were installed. So you can see what they were up against. They had to stop why these cables were installed. You can see the water went up the steps. All the debris on the steps in the basement. Remember, it was millions of beckles. This is the Fukushima 50 ran through this place snapping pictures. Reactor number 5 and 6 contained 8,000 tons of radioactive water in their basements. See that? They're going to put it on a mega float out in the harbor. Cesium rises by reactor 5 and 6 discharge at highest level in months. The buildings were broken. Again, you can see how high the water was inside of Unit 6. And TEPCO used the radioactive water from Reactor 5 and 6 to spray throughout Fukushima's plant over 100 tons a day. There was massive damage. You're seeing what's left over after. That's how they drained it. So if I remember correctly, this is 5 and 6. They never got damaged, per se, that we know about conventional compared to uh, 3 and 4. That doesn't mean they're not in heart attack mode. Trouble at Fukushima Reactor 5 and 6. Cracks are allowing in radioactive water that could destroy emergency generators and other vital equipment. White smoke from Fukushima Daiichi Reactor Number 6 turbine building. Reactor Number 6 now has over 6 feet of contaminated water in the turbine buildings. And that's Number 6 basement. Water in reactor building may cause cooling system to fail. And this is after, during the cleanup, you see to your right hand 6. Once again, Reactor 5 and 6 were not in cold shutdown. And you can see some of the regions they sprayed over the site, and they got the homeless out there with the Geiger counters. There was a record high 10 million beckles a liter of strontium-90 and beta emitters revealed in Fukushima plant's groundwater, 1,000% more than TEPCO had claimed earlier. I think these guys are driving uh, remote control cranes, heavy-duty equipment. And I remember that site got sprayed with rods, so the numbers you see to your left, record high 10 million beckles a liter, was from these rods landing all over the site, is the best way to look at it. And the experts are warning about the ground sinking at the Fukushima plant, because they spray so much water on it, the earthquake had came through it, there was so much carnage. And cesium was found near the drainage gates at reactor 5 and 6. To the right, you're looking at the interior pictures from TEPCO's websites, all of these pictures are authentic folks. There's the drainage ditches. Cesium rises by reactor 5 and 6 discharge at the highest level in months. Fox News, all of the stricken reactors had spent fuel pools containing plutonium. Each reactor holds 3,450 spent fuel assemblies. It would be like Chernobyl on steroids if the spent fuel catches fire, says a nuclear engineer. Each reactor holds 3,450 spent fuel assemblies. So each assembly has 80 rods in it. 3,400 times 80. So each, and so 276,000 rods, 12 foot rods of plutonium uranium. Oh, you don't, but plutonium and uranium. Not cesium, but plutonium uranium, even though it's a byproduct of it. 276,000 rods. One rod can kill all the mammals on the planet after it kills all the humans.
Within one day, there was a complete meltdown and melt through occurred. Uh, there is no way the government did not know this. Japan Times, walls are cracked below ground at the Fukushima reactor building as if the damage above ground wasn't enough to worry about. March 8, 2013 came out. LA Times, explosion is so massive, investigators found fuel rod fragments a mile away. China syndrome might just have happened at Fukushima. Actually, it's Argentina syndrome. Molted fuel may have melted through everything into the earth. You can't build anything to contain it. Government paper shows meltout at Fukushima was predicted on the day of the quake. Government reports suggest situation far worse than meltdown. It is the worst possibility in a nuclear accident. That was June 8, 2011. Worse than a melt through, a melt out. July 9, 2011. Plant operators trying to find nuclear cores. All fuel has melted through much of it into the containment vessels. So where's the rest? The worst case scenario is a China syndrome where fuel leaves containment. Strong possibility the fuel is outside of containment, December 29, 2011. The nuclear lava melted the bottom of the containment vessel, leaking a huge amount of fission gases, noble gases, and particles to the air and water. More serious than a meltdown, Japan's government now raising the possibility that fuel has a melt through at all three reactors, June 7, 2011. The NHK, this is a very severe accident. Nuclear fuel at reactor number one may have melted through 65 centimeters of cement, only 37 centimeters at its thinnest point. Just published study, plutonium being found away from Fukushima is from the nuclear fuel fragments blown out after the explosion. So this was Associated Press put out just after that. 3,400 tons, tons of fuel in seven spent fuel pools plus 877 tons of active fuel in the cores of the reactors. The salacious headlines. The Fukushima 50 expected to die within a matter of weeks as they work in dangerously high radiation, trying to keep the temperature of the destroyed reactors down to a minimum. Some serious carnage there. IAEA, not for distribution. Molten cores suspected to have to penetrate Fukushima containment vessel. Prime Minister on 311, we couldn't be in Tokyo if the melted fuel went through the containment vessel. Remember that statement. Japan's Times, the walls are cracked below the ground at Fukushima reactor buildings. Journal, unprecedented phenomenon from using salt water in Fukushima reactors, forming new uranium compounds able to travel long distances like carbon buckyballs. This is a phenomenon that has not been considered before. We don't know how much this will increase the rate of corrosion. Peroxides formed by the seawater and melted fuel even more likely to react with the elements in the core. Not clear exactly what kind of chemicals were released, different in fresh water. Is this why officials ordered halt to pumping in seawater? The Nuclear Regulatory Commission chairman discusses core on the floor, October 27, 2011. It's possible that severely damaged melted nuclear fuel has migrated outside the reactor's vessel. Sources say there's about a thousand different kinds of radioactive material released from the Fukushima reactors. They're talking about isotopes and particles and atoms in the combination of the urethal peroxide buckyballs, sulfur. Scientists, the melted cores cracked the containment vessel. There really is no containment at the Fukushima reactor. February 25, 2013. Times.com report about triple meltdown says it's not great, but not apocalyptic news. Seriously, this is 100% meltdowns. Tokyo professor on NHK breach of containment at reactor 2 extremely grave. TEPCO now says no explosion occurred. Oh, that kind of looks like an explosion to me. But plutonium levels suggest fuel rods were shattered during hydrogen explosion. Uh, it looks like an explosion. Japan races to contain the meltdown after two blasts. The third reactor is losing cooling capacity. That was March 13, 2011. The Washington Post, two days after March 13, 2011, Japan is racing to contain the meltdowns after two blasts. The third reactor is losing the cooling capacity. Japan experts, it was a nuclear explosion at reactor number two. I believe fuel rods were blown out of the spent fuel pools. There's got to be fission products or pellets in the parking lot outside of Fukushima plant. You can see the carnage. Pellets of fuel were scattered around Fukushima site. Peace is not atom. Hydrogen will not create explosions seen at Unit 3. 
Gunderson, I think plutonium being reported around Fukushima is raw, unoxized pieces of nuclear fuel rods that were blown out from Unit 3 spent fuel pool. There are spent fuel and pellets all over the plant, trying to clean it up, but the dose is still going to be incredible. Plutonium evaporates and spreads around as gas after the Fukushima meltdown. Nuclear fuel fragments were found over a mile away, were ejected from the reactor's cores in those explosions, not to spent fuel pools, according to the NRC. So not only the fuel pools, which you see are missing here at Unit 3, but also from the reactors, they had been blown out too. First time plutonium reported outside the Fukushima plant, June the 6th, just a couple of months later, 2011. Plutonium being found away from Fukushima is from nuclear fuel fragments blown out after the explosions. This was a published study. Plutonium likely ejected from the fuel pools during the explosions up to several miles from the reactor. Japan's expert second explosion was more like a bomb at Fukushima. Spent nuclear fuel flew 30 kilometers away. Pellets were collected by the military. Very strange material were found. They should have evacuated out to 300 kilometers. Magazine. Large quantities of neptunium-239 flew at least 60 kilometers from Fukushima meltdown, decays into plutonium-238. Gunderson, I believe fragments of nuclear fuel are in the ocean from the explosions at Unit 3 and Unit 1. Damaged fuel rods were cracked and leaking radioactive gases in Fukushima Unit 4 pool. This is Unit 4 you're seeing on your side. Picture here, the pool, as you can see down in the corner, is actually gone dry. See that? I don't know if you can see that, folks. Let me blow it up a little bit more. That's actually dry. There's no water there. That's number 40. Took that with a drone. 10 plus sievers per hour means there's a direct exposure to the fuel rods. Fukushima, 10 liters of radioactive water leak each at half a million becquels a cubic centimeter. Cesium and strontium. Nuclear engineer estimates 276 quadrillion becquels of cesium-137 entered Fukushima's basements. Their basements, 276 quadrillion, that's a thousand million million, triple Chernobyl's total release. Extreme contamination found in the trenches of Fukushima plant. Cesium over 2 billion becquels a liter, millions and millions of times over the limits. Plutonium levels suggest fuel rods were shattered during the hydrogen explosions. I'll agree. Fukushima worker has a heart attack while working at reactor number one. Radiation around Fukushima near in levels where humans vomit uncontrollably and hair can be stripped from the body. That was March the 14th, 2011. Tokyo nuke cloud crisis. Two high school students in the same school died at once. February 26, 2012. Japan discusses personal health problems strange deaths. Seven people died on a single shopping street, folks. Reporter says you hear ambulances coming to Fukushima plant at least ten times a day. Another Fukushima cleanup worker has died. Found collapse after removing radioactive soil. Birds that are unable to fly allow humans to approach them. Somewhere in Fukushima video. Top Tokyo doctor dealing with nuclear workers demand government step in at Fukushima plant for safety reasons. Some of them are unable to read. You know that they're taking the homeless in there. Fukushima worker filmed that plant. I was asked to fake documents. Underage people were employed. Cesium-137 immediately damages the heart muscles. Not slow acting. Fireman dies after working in Fukushima. Vomited blood frequently and finally died of renal failure. Hospital. 40% of the Fukushima visitors show internal exposure to radiation. Over 1,000 nuclear workers had internal radiation of 10,000 counts a minute after visiting Fukushima. Over 1,000. News agency. After working in an affected area, four workers have died, victims of leukemias and heart attacks. Report indicates five Fukushima workers have most likely received a fatal dose of radiation. Worker dies while decontaminating in Fukushima. Extreme increase in mortality caused by cardiac disease in Fukushima. Death rates might give some people the creeps. The number of deaths was up over 12,000 compared to the same month of the year before. Fukushima Daiichi worker dies had been preparing cover for unit number three. Japan's government looking for kamikaze decontamination workers for Fukushima prefecture. CNN unspeakable rage.
The man is talking about how he's seen his own wife on fire. He said this is Tepco's fault. Original mysterious black substance was never tested. Over 95,000 counts per minute. Police officer dies from radiation in Fukushima. Hospital president said people will be healthier after radiation exposure from triple meltdown. No argument is allowed. Tokyo Hospital post sign at the entrance. We do not serve any tests for radiation exposure or treatments. Top Japanese official found hanging had been deputy minister for disaster reconstruction. Up to a billion beckles a kilogram of iodine-131, not to mention iodine-132, 133, not to mention 129 with a 50 million year half-life, not to mention it doesn't travel by itself, not to mention uranium, plutonium, strontiums, was estimated in seaweed near Fukushima reactor. High school teacher and 16-year-old student dies during sleep in the same night. More and more people living in highly contaminated places are dying of heart disease because of cesium. A million beckles a kilogram of cesium detected at a Fukushima school after being decontaminated. Senior scientists, irreversible heart damage for children with 50 beckles a kilogram of cesium-137. Fukushima mom, five hospitals refuse to provide medical care to children. We can't be seen by a doctor. It's just not right. The doctor says, it'll be confusing if our results is different than Fukushima Medical University. Nearly 5,000 nuke plant workers suffered internal radiation exposure after visiting Fukushima. Radiation and health specialists, children with over 11 beckles a kilogram of cesium start to see heart problems. Japan medical experts deeply concerned about children's radiation exposure. 51% of the kids contaminated with cesium-137 at Fukushima Hospital never checked them for plutonium or uranium or dystrontium, which are 30 times more. Some had gamma ray particles, high levels under clothing. Hospital, 40% of the Fukushima visitors show internal exposure to radiation. 